it's PC Helper here and today's video is about how to fix lagging and stuttering of the game WWE 2K17 on your PC. So I have few workarounds for this issue. Number one is changing the video settings to low. That is just go to your game and in your options menu go to video settings and in video settings turn off first of all shadows then MSAA then FXAA. Once you have turned them off, change the texture quality to low. And you have to also, for further increase in the performance of the game, you can also change the audience quality and depth of field to low also. Now, you are, if you are not having a, an Alienware, which is a gaming laptop, so you have to compromise with the quality of the graphics. So, the first step is for all the users having a low-end PC, so you have to play like this with low graphics but if you're having a high-end PC and still having some issues of lagging and low FPS you can try the remaining four workarounds so number two is download a game booster number two downloading a game booster a game booster is a software which puts maximum of your PC's RAM in running a particular game so it helps a lot in increasing the performance of a game so just search for download Razer Cortex Game Booster. Razer Cortex Game Booster is the booster that I recommend you. I recommend all of my users to use this as I myself also use Razer Cortex. So just click on the first link and you will be redirected to this page. And now click on download. I will not download it as I have already downloaded it. So it's very easy to use you just have to install it and once you have installed it you will be redirected to this page and when you are here you just have to add a game browse and you have to browse to the location wherever you have saved the game WWE 2K17 and add the exe file of WWE 2K17 to Razer Cortex Game Booster and click on add here once you have done it once you have installed Razer Cortex just go to your power options and there will be an additional option of Razer Cortex power plan. So you have to turn this plan on every time you play a game. It works for all, every game not only WWE 2K17 but this video is for WWE 2K17. So whenever you have to play that game just click on Razer Cortex power plan before running the game. This will be it for the game booster thing. And I have also created a additional video for advanced users who have to who wants to do some additional settings of games on Razer Cortex Game Booster this the link of that video will be in the description of this video so now the third step is change priority to high now changing the priority of the game to high is also for the same cause that is putting maximum of your PC's RAM and running a particular game. So I'll show you how to put maximum of your PC's RAM and running that game again. For example, I've run the game NBA 2K17. So once I've run that game, I'll go to task manager. Look, Razer Cortex have worked and they have boosted my game. Now I'll go to my apps and right click on it and go to its details. In the details I will be here nb2k17.exe. Now I'll right click on it and set the priority of the game to high and change priority. It also helps a lot. So you have to do the same with any of the game you are playing so and also with WWE 2K17 of course. So that's for the third step that is changing the priority of the game to high. Now fourth is delete temporary files. It is a short term fix. It boosts your PC for short term as the temporary files are the files which are made time to time in your PC as you work on your PC. But it also helps in increasing performance of your game and your PC too. Just search for run and press enter and first type temp temp and press enter and delete all the files here. Don't worry these all are waste files so never worry to delete these files. I have permanently deleted these files from my 
computer and skip those files which are not being deleted now again go to your run command box and type percentage sign percentage sign as you can see then again type temp temp and again percentage sign and press ok do the same here control a delete all the files here also these are also waste files skip the files which are not being deleted now these two folders are known by most of the users but now the third folder which I'll tell you which also includes temporary files uh, barely few people knows about that folder that is just go to local disk C then windows then go to the folder prefetch press enter and continue this folder also contains all the waste files and delete them temporarily permanently delete all these files skip so this is the step you have to do time to time as these temporary files are created time to time so that's all for the fourth step now the fifth step is updating your drivers updating your drivers is the most important step many users skip this step as they don't find it useful but this is the most important step as all the high-end games require latest drivers of the gaming processor you are using or anything your PC must be up to date before running those games so updating your drivers can be done easily by just searching for windows updates first thing is normally you can search automatically for windows updates and if you are using any laptop like Vio, Lenovo you have to also download Vio updates and Lenovo updates and if you are not able to download all the updates just download a tool called driver scanner so just click on the first link by UniBlue driver scanner if you click on download now it will be downloaded and once you install it you can search for all the available updates for your drivers and you can download them by just one click so it is for your convenience or if you want to download them from windows updates or Vio updates or Lenovo updates or whichever PC you are using that's also fine so that's it for this video thank you for watching this video if this works for you please hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe for more and for any further queries type in the comment section below so thank you for watching this video have a nice day